It's a large mouth, buddy. It's a fucking large one. Nice one. Oh, doggy. There you go, buddy. First fish of the year right there. That and I be. caught it, not you. Suck it. <laughs> Got him. Top of the morning, everybody. We have the boat behind us here. And uh, we're at Boundary Dam, like I said yesterday. We're about to hit the lake. We were the first ones in a boat. Uh, a local guy we know is out on his kayak going to hit up probably some bass. Um, so stay tuned. We're gonna do everything today, right? Yeah, probably, yeah. Get the boat rods and gear for everything. So might as well hit her up. Yeah. Probably try. I don't know. Try some bass this morning. See what happens. Then kind of migrate her way down or up, whichever way we decide for bass <laughs> or if we go to walleye. And then <clears throat> later in this afternoon, go try to catch some pike, maybe. Yeah, I like the sounds of that. I like, I like that the sounds too. of that. Just gonna decide which way we want to head first: is catch more bass, or do we want to? Yeah. Well, a lot, of things, a lot of things to consider here, but uh, we're going to get the boat in the water for the first time for the 2021 fishing season. Fingers crossed she starts. Oh, she'll start. She's going to rip. So stay tuned for that, and we'll bring you some fish in action. See you on the lake. Well guys, we are here in Zemitzel. Got it running, got everything checked out. We're gonna zip right up to, see the power station right there. We're gonna hang out right by it. There's a bunch of rocks right along the dam there. We're gonna go play in there for a bit, see if we can't find some bass early in the morning. Then we're gonna head down out over that way probably. Might hit up the water return, which is right there. Maybe, don't know yet. And we'll go head over that way and uh, find some walleye, some pike this half later in the day. But, hold on, let's get down there. All right, oh, yeah. we are hooked up. Austin is on. I'm gonna run the net for him. What do you think it is? Pike? I think it's a pike. It looks like, like a, pike. a pike. It's a large mouth, buddy. It's a fucking large one. Nice one. Oh, doggy. There you go, buddy. First fish of the year right there. That and I be. caught it, not you. Suck it. <laughs> Here you go. I'm going to make sure we're out of danger of this crawling motor. <laughs> right on. Nice large mouth. What I got on here for those last, the one that I caught, which is in the live well right now, that other one that I had a nice bite on, all I'm running is, I got this, it's the yellow jig head, he's been used quite a bit, two bait, tight lines, UV, and uh, it's the blue with speckles, and a green, and white. And I brought us up a little bit closer here, and what I'm trying to do is hopefully you can see up in here, you can see the dark spots and then it gets into the gunk or the clear spots and it gets into the gunk there so what i'm trying to do i'm trying to just flip it into the gunk like that right above it and then just pull over it and drop and just hit hang out right below the gunk there that's where they're coming from there's a little bit of a rock bed down in here i can see rocks right now probably a bunch of gunk we're in like 
feet of water. So that's where they're hanging out it's in these nice weed beds. Right here below us. Austin is hooked up. Another decent fish by the sounds of it. Another nice large mouth. What do you think, buddy? It's going good. Good spot, hitting some nice fish. Yeah! For some reason, whenever I catch or you catch, I'm out right beside you. Whenever you catch your, or I catch, that's a nice bass. You're sitting in here. Oh, that is a nice beaut. Right in the corner of the mouth. That is a beaut. I turned them. Where I've caught all of them today. Nice. It's a beautiful fish. It is. Boundary down. Estevan, Saskatchewan. Come on down. Austin is hooked up again. Oh, big old pike. Big old pike, he says. That's not a big, but it's not too it's small. It's a pike. I don't care how big it is. It's a fish in the boat. <laughs> Ow. That's about like a four pound pike, five pound pike. We ain't weighing it. We're gonna throw it back. Well, we don't need to weigh it. You just unhook it and throw it back. Tanner's on. Just smooshing them. Hold on, I'm not in yet. Sorry, I'm not in. Are you rolling? I'm good. We're rolling. That's yeah, buddy. Look at that beast. Oh, man, he horfed it. He horfed that thing. Look at that. Look at that beer. Just ate it. Smoked it. Make sure the trolling motor's not doing stupid things. Come on, Tully. Camera starts up fast. There we go. Z-Man finesse shad, green pumpkin on a eerie stand-up walleye jig. It's got blue fleck in there. That's the ticket. Ten times tough. Sponsor us, Z-Man. Put him into the live well. So right now we got two, two nice large ones in the in the well. We're gonna keep ripping this. Uh, shoreline right here just hanging out right across from the boat launch at Bounder Dam right now actually so, there is the mine that's not the mine that's the power station same shit different pile <laughs> Tanner's got him. Oh, had a bee. Yeah, had a bee. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. Just Another stout. large. You swallow her? Oh, they're just inhaling it, man. They're, they're hungry. They're inhaling you and just baby in mine. Get you all unwrapped. That's a beaut. Right here. Really? And what was it? A walleye. Really? Yeah. How deep are nice you? We're in a 15 walleye. foot flat right here. Yeah, but I was like reeling in. He was, I caught him like two yeah, feet from the Yeah, but you forget boat. walleye are fast, man. That's it looked like probably a decent sized fish too. Yeah, I'd say she was a three. Maybe a two and a half, three pound walleye. That's all right. I don't know, but it's heavy. I hope I spot lost. That's a walleye. That's a big walleye, man. Oh. Under the boat. Under the boat. Got him. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Beaut. Quarter pounder, just about three and a quarter. Those 23 and a half, 23 and a half. No, not to the grease, but we'll give you one more look. Keep my water dog wet. Dish hole. 
Look at that beauty. Time for a spot change. Some good bass in there. Got four in the boat. I had two bites. Pike, Tanner had two bites and a... A 10 inch pike, snot rocket to the max. So I'm we're gonna make a shot over into a shallow bay that should be full of beds. That's okay, we're gonna send it. We'll see you guys there. Well, we just had to switch bays here into this nice little guy right here. But upon us entering the bay, we just got here set up, I cast one time and uh, some nice guy came by and left such big waves coming at us when i turned into it i have water all the way to here splashing up my boat because he went by making i don't know what would you say a three or four foot wave as we're in here trolling yeah about a three foot swell hit a three foot swell going parallel on to us too. right within 10 feet of us he went to how to turn nose in trim down too yeah. He's trimmed all the way down. He's just making a big wave, being a prick. But we are in the new spot. So we are low on GoPro batteries, so we won't have much live catches anymore. We burned well, through two we're batteries. Gonna be, we're gonna be as good as we can. We're gonna try. If we get on a bite, we'll turn it on for a bit, but I only got like a battery and a half left, if not less. So I'm still running right now. My uh oh, guy right there. Oh, I just had a bite live. Hold on. I'll just uh, chill out here for a minute. Got him. There we go. Got him. He's on. Walla, fast. Nice one. Oh God, we're hooked into the thingy. No, we're not. Oh, yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Flipping beds. Oh, man, this thing's soaked. Oh, we got rods everywhere. Got crap everywhere. I'm trying to get back far enough. Oh, man. This is a boat. Look at that. He was not Look happy about having that thing. He just harfed her. What'd you catch him on this time, Tanner? Blue craw, uh, bags down there, I can't remember what it is. I just picked it up from Cabela's last summer. He hit me once, he turned on, hit me once when I flipped in there. Flipped back in, boom! Look at that, that's a stud. Let's get a weight on him and a measurement. Two pounds. Okay, flat, he's 17 and a half. We're gonna keep track this year. See what, uh, what our biggest fish is we can keep. Stay tuned. Yeah. Alrighty guys, that's a wrap for uh, opening day on Boundary. We hammered the largemouth and uh, caught a stud walleye. It was, it was only what, three pounder? Three and a quarter? I think it was something like that. I have to watch the video, put it in the video. Yeah, it's in the video. So, uh, well, if you're watching this, I hope you watch the rest of it. Yeah, it's back there a ways. Yeah. Anyways, that's a wrap for us for now. Uh, so go ahead and uh, like this video, share this video, check us out on Instagram at Avid Outdoors TV. And uh, what do you got to say? Below. What do you got to say? Not much, it was a great first morning. Mm -hmm. What was there in total? We brought four walleye or bass in the boat. No. Which we got a picture right here. Five. Five bass into the boat. Five, well, we one we released. Only keep four. We released Between one. two of us. Yeah, he got a nice walleye in. I had one come up, I couldn't get in the boat. And then we each had a pike. Yep, his was much bigger. Much. So yeah, we're gonna move on. Have a nice day. Stay avid. More carbon tax. Gotta love carbon tax.